Hi everyone, how are you doing? Uh, happy Wednesday, it's block of the week day. Um, so we've got a new block to do today, ready for your qu isolation quilts or your Christmas quilts, whatever it is you're doing now, because boy we've done a lot of, qu a lot of blocks. <laughs> um, so what have I got to tell you today? I've got some new stuff to show you. Um, it's also tomorrow is our 100th Facebook Live since since we started doing them. So um, we're gonna we're gonna put something to, a little bit something together. Sarah's still gonna do a cleaning out of her machine and everything, but I think we're gonna do a bit of a giveaway or we'll do something because uh, you guys have had to listen to me waffle on, well and Sarah, <laughs> the pair of us waffle on for a hundred of these now. Um, yeah, so this is number ninety nine. Tomorrow's number one hundred. So um, so we're gonna do something. Uh, do something nice. I don't know. We're gonna have a when I get back over there in a minute. We're gonna have a little think. Um, but yeah, I can't believe we've been doing it for this long now. It's, uh, I can't believe you guys are still watching. I mean, seriously, guys, you're crazy. <laughs> um, it's a grey old day. Again, still hasn't decided it's going to be summer, which is just very unfortunate. But um, never mind. Um, so what, have I, what are we going to do? We're going to do the block, um, which I really like, actually. It's a, one, a slightly illusion block. If you make lots of them, it makes this amazing illusion. Um, but I want to show you some new fabrics that came into the shop. So we've had some new Christmas fabrics. Most of our Christmas stock is now arriving. I'm going to show you that. But these, there are four more colours. There's a full rainbow, but they're co it's called Rainbow Sprinkle by Makawa. Um, and I'm hoping, actually, probably on the black one, you'll be able to, hopefully you'll pick it up. It's got, it's metallic, but it's got tiny, tiny little stars and hearts, all like sprinkled all over it. Um, they are 11.50, yeah, 11.50 a metre. Um, they're all going on the website. We've only got five metres of each of the colours. So I don't know if you can see. So there's a beautiful spectrum of colours. There's also a cream, a very pale grey, most beautiful sort of lime green and one other, a purple, a purple in the shop. So, um, so these are going on the website. So I just thought I'd show you these because they're yummy, yummy, yummy. And uh, just... Oh, just I can just imagine really modern quilts with this and I just love that little tiny bit of gold because I'm not a massive one for lots of metallic I don't like a lot of glittering fabrics or anything like that but I think because it's such a tiny little print it's pretty pretty I really like it really like it and there are some really beautiful colors so there's like an emerald green that stunning cerise a red which would go beautiful in Christmas quilts if you're doing them there's a white turquoise a black and like I said there's also a cream a grey a purple and like a lime green colour as well which is lovely so just thought I'd show you those before we get started and the other thing I wanted to show you is this okay so this is a brand new stocking in from Lewis and Irene there is also the most beautiful Christmas panel and we've got all the coordinating fabrics it's a big stocking as you can see can I uh, hold that okay so a little can you get up close on those little animals and stuff at the bottom? I absolutely adore this. You've got little foxes and hares and squirrels, beautiful little reindeer. I love the little little hair at the bottom as well. Look, this little winter hair here. Um, there's two on a panel, okay? So, and you've got like the little loop on the side as well. You could do it double-sided, but because we've got the coordinating fabrics in, you could put one of the coordinating fabrics on the back and you'd get two stockings and they're a really good size stocking. I was also thinking as well actually when I was bringing it over back over from the shop with our letter templates you, you know we do the the templates for the applique but we also got a, an alphabet template you could because this is a nice space here you could applique a name or something on there but you would actually get two stockings out of one panel. The £12 for the panel but like I said, that would get two stockings if you if you put, you know, you could just use a lovely plain navy or a plain red on the back if you wanted to. Um, but I just think the picture is delicious. I absolutely love it. And you should see the panel that goes with it as well to make a Christmas quilt. We've just all fallen in love with it in the shop. Absolutely fallen in love with it. It's really nice. It's a bit different from Lewis and Irene. They tend to go quite cutesy cutesy in quite bright colours, I find, normally. But this is just scrumptious 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 so i thought i'd show you those as well that will be going on those will be going on the website um, this afternoon well or early evening as well so yeah um but really good size stocking really really good size stocking like it be quite nice as well if you um 
you quilted it up and you could like quilt around the trees and get make them look embossed and stuff which would be lovely but i think it'd be nice to add somebody's name on so anyway who's there who's coming online uh, we got linda head she says i need one of those don't i oh it's be you need everything my darling but yes it's beautiful i love it <laughs> we got marion we've got claire uh catherine jones uh, marion lloyd Tracy, hi everyone sandra lovely uh, lovely Gorgeous. Thank you. For, thanks for joining us, guys. So today we're going to do something that is called a chubby star. It's not really star shaped. I'm not sure why they call it that, but it's quite a traditional block again. Um, and this is my take on it. Um, I was um, writing the pattern. I have written the pattern. It's already written. I was two this morning. I was still doing this. Oh, my insomnia was horrendous. It didn't. It, I was. My brain wasn't shutting down. So the pattern will be on the website as per usual two pound in the isolation block quilt section and it looks like this okay and the idea so it looks like these points are coming out over the border okay again it's one that you can play with and you can maybe mess around with the colors but when you put these together if you made lots of these if you didn't put it in a sampler but you put it put lots of them together it looks like I don't know if you can get this and you'll see it when we make the other one and we put put them side by side you end up with secondary um, diamonds happening and it looks like these are almost floating above the secondary ones it works really really well as a repeating block this one it gives it's a really it's it'd be beautiful actually in these these ones these new ones um, it because it gives this really interesting almost like they're slightly hovering above because of how it goes into the borders quite easy to put together um, and that's what we're going to go through today so because I'm a bit tired because uh, I didn't go to bed till well it's nearly quarter to four by, by the time I, was, I actually looked at the clock and went oh I'll go to sleep so <laughs> um, I've got, got it written down so I remember what I've cut okay so you will need if you're just going to do it in one color okay from your background fabric you're going to need four three by four inch rectangles okay you're going to need eight two and a quarter by two and a quarter and you would need two three and a half by three and a half out of your background fabric and then in your colored fabric you would need one four inch square which is your center you need two three and a half by three and a half and then you need some longer pieces which are slightly odd sizes so two and a quarter by four and three quarters and two and a quarter by six and a half okay so that's all the bits you need of course you can play around with these and play around with the colors and create all sorts of different things we're going to start with a trusty old favorite we're going to start with some half square triangles because as per usual a lot of blocks include those so I'll just give those a quick press so you need your three and a half inch squares two of each okay and we're going to pop them as we do always right sides together like that and like that oh my tummy is rumbling today it's not likely to be hungry let's slip coffee who's there anybody having a chat uh, jenny says hi hi jenny carol says hi as well lovely hi carol so so what have you all been making at the moment anything exciting anybody up to anything the shop's been really busy today. We had lots and lots of people in today, which is nice. Um, lots of people, two people actually, who only didn't know us about us and only live relatively locally, not, not far away, um, but found us through these lives, which is lovely, which <laughs> it's obviously working. <laughs> okay, so as always with half square triangles, we've drawn a diagonal line right across the back of the fabrics, their right sides together, and we're going to stitch a quarter an inch down each line okay so over we go to the sewing machine and i've got my quarter inch foot on just for ease and oh, it's caught the thread caught there we go so so yeah um what was i going to say 100 100 episodes episodes is that what they are 100 lives i don't know we call them but yeah 100 tomorrow which uh, is uh, pretty good going isn't it we've uh, 
lovely if you've all stuck with us for this amount of time that we've uh, <laughs> you have been waffling on for. You know. So I'm just using my quarter inch foot. I'm using the little guide down the drawn line. As we've done before. Okay. So we've been busy getting ready for Chanda, which is next Thursday. Um, we've had reps galore in this week as well, which... Uh, Obviously, they've all come back off furlough, so we've had lots of people, lots of reps in, showing us lots of new yummy things that will be coming in in, like, January, February time. Because so, we have to order in really early with the fabrics. That's why sometimes when things sell out, we can't get them again. Some things like white on whites and, and certain fabrics, spray time and, and things like that, um, bumbleberries, all those type of things, they are standard stock. And um, Sorry, I'm just going to turn my phone off. Thank you. Um, so they're like standard stock, so that's fine. Um, but uh, things like design ranges, we have to order like six to eight months ahead of schedule for them to come in. So once they go on, they do, it's very difficult to get any more of them. Uh, so we've been looking at fabrics that are maybe coming in. Oh, I don't think I'm, my tension's not right just now. Never mind. So what have you been up to? Anybody having a chat? Uh, Kara said I finished my um, Max pack, patchwork quilt today. Ah, lovely. Uh, made it from scrap. Uh, Lisa Fowler says hello. Hi, Lisa. Jenny says, wow, 100, and we're still all still here. I know, I we're... know. You must be all lunatics, frankly. <laughs> she said you're definitely doing something right. <laughs> Something right or something very wrong. It's either uh, something right and you're all loving it or something very wrong and it's car crash TV and you're all just wait, <laughs> waiting for the day that I lose my mind on, on live on air. <laughs> right, just set in the seam and iron these out and I'm just ironing them out towards the, the darker fabric. Okay, and then usual squaring up. We want to square these little half square triangles up to three inches. Okay, so... We're going to pop the diagonal line down the seam as ever. Okay, make sure the three inch lines, that side and that side, are within the fabric. And then oops, trim off that excess. Okay, do that this side as well. Lisa's making fast, uh, face masks for our holiday. Ah, oh, lovely. We've had lots of people actually ask us if. Um, over the last couple of days, we had three people ring yesterday. Um, so a couple of people asked us today, have we got ready-made ones? So uh, unfortunately, we just don't have time to make a stock, at, make make them like that. It's uh, not not for selling. I'm you know sort of making them for the boys and things, my husband and stuff. And but uh, ooh, well, that was nearly my fingers, wasn't it? I wasn't concentrating there. Suzanne says hi. Hi, Susie. Um, Jenny said the funniest one was definitely when you were on the wrong channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you just reminded me of that. See, I'm blushing. Oh, <laughs> that was a uh, that was a little bit uh, a bit of a major, <laughs> major mess up, wasn't it? <laughs> Luckily, they took it all in good spirits. Which is fine. And they've let me back on twice, so they can't have minded that much. But oh, that was funny. That was. Bit of, like I said, bit of a disaster, but it was funny, you're right. <laughs> so what have been your favourite things that you've done? What have you enjoyed making along with us? You know, is there something that we've done that you've thought, oh, I've absolutely loved that. Is there something you thought, oh, God, not that again. Don't want to do those again. So, uh, yeah, let us know. And, uh, yeah, we'll do something tomorrow, actually, for, like I said, our 100th. We'll, uh, when I get back over, Sarah and I will put our thinking caps on and we'll come up with a giveaway or, or something, something nice for you guys. So, prep work done on those. There's my little half square triangles, okay? Now we're going to do, we need to do a bit of prep work on these, okay? So we're going to start with the two inch by four and three quarter inch ones. I'll just give that a quick press because when I cut that, it's curled a weeny bit. And we're going to alter one of the corners, all right? So you want, and again, I'm going to do this to you guys. So I'm going to lay these out, and you want two going one way and two going the other. So I'm just going to draw the lines on the back of here. Like, 
that one. I have been looking at more Zoom classes this week, actually. We will get those um, those on, hopefully, at, at the weekend. So I've got hiccups in my coffee now because I slipped my coffee really quickly. So uh, we will get those um, uh, for sale soon. Okay, so with these, you want to... Um, I've, hang on, I've got to just do it to myself, towards myself, that way. So you want two on the left-hand side. Hang on. That's right. <laughs> two going that way. It's, it's doing the mirror image sometimes. I, I know which way it's facing me, and then I've got to make sure it's facing you. So you've got two going that way, and you're going to have two going this way. And again, I've done this so that you've got if you've got directional fabric, it works. Okay. If you haven't got directional fabric, they can all go the same way. You can just flip them. But um, I think it's better to set them out like that. Okay. And if I draw the lines on the back of these ones as well, I can do the, the because you're going to do exactly the same for the longer ones, the six and a half inch ones as well. So if I lie those out and then we can quickly chain piece them all. Any comments there while I'm doing this, Drew? Uh, Suzanne says, I like the labyrinth block. All oh, right, yeah, that was, I like I like that as well. I really enjoyed doing that one. Uh, Eileen said, just finishing off my tablet, ta finish off a tablet stand. Ah, oh, lovely. Uh, Marion's, I'm busy quilting the isolation quilt blocks. Oh, Not cool. sure how to join them up, though. Okay, so we would do do quilt as you go. If you if you're quilting them now, so we've done a whole we did a whole one pm on that on the quilt as you go. We also touched on it again. I did a demo on the questions and answers. You know the one we did a couple of not this Saturday. Look, because it wasn't this Saturday. The previous Saturday we did that question and answer session. I did a whole thing about quilt as you go on there as well, which you should find on YouTube. But if not, there is a whole one pm on quilt as you go. Okay. Uh, one inch sashing on the front, two inch on the back. Uh, Suzanne asked, "What's the uh, what's this block called?" I missed this. Uh, kind of it's called a chubby star. Um, it's a variation of a chubby star. A, a, the original chubby star was this. This centerpiece was all completely plain, so it looks like you know you can see like the the points of the grey are supposed to be like the points of the star. It's a big fat expanded star, but I didn't like. The fact that this was all plain it was really really dull so um i um i changed it <laughs> i changed it oh, i'm like mm -hmm. look at something going oh, on i don't like that let's make it make it different mm -hmm. so again with the long ones we're going to do exactly the same you want two going one way and you want to be really careful about which way your the lines are going okay your diagonal lines uh, again it's all on the pattern all right so we are going to stitch on the line this time okay so this one is on the line and then we're going to cut off the excess so I'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and do these ones first okay and then we'll come back and do the long ones so so I'm still working my way through Luther very excited about that um, what, else have, what else have I been watching I can't remember now what else have we been watching Drew nothing very exciting no, Who not. saw in the news about um, all of our star signs being uh, being changed? I was genuinely like tears in my eyes laughing this morning at some of the comments that people are making. Oh, it's ridiculous. So apparently NASA have found out that um, the Babylonians, which were the ones who kind of did the star system and grouped us all up into 12, uh, missed one. So this should actually be 13. So now apparently... I'm no longer a Virgo. I mean, I don't believe in it anyway. I think it's all nonsense. But um, <laughs> apparently I'm no longer a Virgo. I'm a Leo now. Sarah's not happy. She's no longer a Taurus. Apparently she's an Aries now. So Yeah, apparently all our star signs have changed. <laughs> Which I think is hysterical. But some of the comments online, people were like, no, I can't. This one woman, I was reading her comment. She was going absolutely mad, and I'm, I know it's awful, but I was laughing my head off because she'd, I you know, I picked my partner and our compatibility on our star signs, and we've been married for 12 years, and we even planned our kids within the star signs. You're thinking this is hysterical, don't you, Drew? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, 
and now and now we're no longer compatible because we're both different star signs and what am i going to do am i going to have to get a divorce because when and i'm like you've been married for 12 years love you know you know whether you want a divorce or not <laughs> don't blame it on a new star sign oh it was brilliant genuinely hysterical but you know, each their own. If you want to believe in it, that's absolutely your prerogative. Um, you know, I think it's a load of nonsense. You know, it's one of those silly things you read in a back of a magazine and you go, oh, me and 60 million other people, you know, because, uh, <laughs> but yeah, all our star signs have changed. If we've got to change our personalities, apparently Virgos are supposed to be like quite shy and retiring. <laughs> apparently now I'm a Leo, I'm going to be a lot more boisterous and uh, loud. So God help you all. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, I can finally live my true life. <laughs> but yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous. So, but yeah, it was just kind of funny this morning. I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, so yeah, people were getting very irate about it. Somebody was saying, I've got a tattoo of my star sign. What am I going to do? And I was like, oops. <laughs> so, right. Okay, so all I've done is just trim off the excess. I'll show you on the back. Trim off the excess about a quarter of an inch, okay? And then we're going to iron them out. And I would just be gentle because they're little. So just iron them out towards the background colour, okay? So, any comments there? Anybody okay? Um, Everyone okay? Linda Hess says, I like the social side of the session of these sessions and listening to you waffle. Only joking, Sarah, you do a fab job. <laughs> I do waffle quite a bit, mine, don't I? I do waffle quite a bit. Marion's so, I'm sorry, Marion um, says I'm a Leo and I have a zero birthday at the end of the month. I don't know what that means. Oh, a zero, so she, it's a big one. Oh, okay. So like 20 or 30 or whatever, it's a big one. So, yeah, it's uh, so right, we've made those ones, two going in opposite directions like that. And then we're going to do the same for the long ones, alright? So stitch down the lines, cut off the excess. So, I like this, going back to Linda's comment, I like the social side of this as well. You guys have completely kept me sane. I mean, you've kept me busy, but you've kept me sane. You know, uh, it's, uh, even though I'm not, like, talking, talking to you. I am talking to you, because Drew reads out your comments. I know you're there. I know you're listening. At least I try to. Oh, yeah. Tries to read out the comments. So, then that one. And... You might be going to back to work next week or the week after, aren't you, might you? Next Tuesday, with apparently the restaurant's reopening. Yeah. Have to, uh... I think I'll probably... Well, I've got to go to work after this for a meeting, yeah. yeah. Going into work for a meeting. I'll probably only be working weekends, so I'll still be able to do this. Yeah, well, we're just going to have to okay. rope, uh, rope Alex in, aren't we? If I have to do, if I have to work Friday, then Alex is going to have to do it. I do? If I have to work Fridays, then Alex is going to have to do it. Yeah. There we go. Don't think we can train the dog to do this. I don't know. Can I strap it to Jem's back and just... <laughs> Mind you, Tom's on six weeks holiday. I could get Tom uh, to do it, couldn't I, soon? Yeah, it's the summer holidays now. We can maybe get Tom involved. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just trim off that excess. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I know what I didn't show you. I've got something else to show you as well. I've got to show you that as well. Mm. Damn, got. Um, but we'll we'll do that in a second. Let me just uh, trim these off before we start putting the block together. I want to show you some of the girls we've had come in the shop, which I'm quite excited about. Actually, it looks amazing. So, iron those back and just gently press them towards the background square. Sandra says, oh, Drew, how could you give up such a lucrative job? <laughs> I know. If I got paid to do this, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd have to quit my other job. <laughs> I can pay you like a five for a day, love. Can you live on that? Yeah, can I not pay rent? No, you have still have to pay rent. Oh, um, no. <laughs> so that's all the prep work, and we're going to put it all together. But I just want to show you this other thing I've got all about. Let me grab it out of my handbag. I'm quite excited about this. So, it's something that I th I'm definitely going to be using because um, it's called Seams Couture's Hand Cream. And we've only got a very small amount coming in the shop. It's got shea butter, rosehip oil, and oat beta 
something in it. It's got an in, it's instant dissolves and it's designed for people who work with fabric all the time because um, cotton fibres are actually quite a, a bit of an irritant. They can be when, you know, the amount of sewing and all we do. Um, and it's supposed to be absolutely flipping amazing. So I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to open this one up and see. Um, it says it instantly absorbs and it's non-greasy. So, yeah, so it says, uh, originally created for seamstresses to help mend and moisturise their dry, pin-pricked, hard-working hands without leaving any oily residue on the fabrics. I'll put some on the website. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells gorgeous. Let's have another look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really pretty, actually. You can smell, like, the rose and all in it. Let's put some on and see if um, it does actually leave no residue. It smells lush really really pretty smell so um yeah we've got we've had a few come in just to see if anybody will want them oh yeah it feels nice actually i like it it's not a massive it's not a really strong rose smell because I, I think sometimes rose can be quite overpowering but it does smell really good and it feels quite nice on your hands my hands feel quite nice and soft so and it's at, yeah give it's due it has genuinely disappeared immediately so i'll pop those on the website as well um if you do sew a lot i mean if you're just a hobby sewer it might not be something you need but if you sew a lot you know some of you are sewing every day um it's supposed to oh wendy's got some and she says it's great oh there you go fab yeah it's really nice so it's called seams couture's hand cream um it says it nourishes and smooths hydrates evens your skin tone strengthens your nails and moisturizers and stuff but it's all designed for sewers so that will be going on the website as well. Well, not that one, because I've used a bit. That one me and Sarah can have in the shop. <laughs> but, yeah, it smells beautiful. And it's, that's completely gone. I'm always a bit dubious about some, like, hand creams and stuff, because sometimes they can leave your hands quite sticky, can't they, and stuff. But that's, that's nice. Right, okay, so we're going to start building the block. Sorry, a little bit of a tangent then, but I suddenly remembered I was supposed to show you that at the beginning. Okay, we're going to build the block now. We are going to start with the centre. So we're going to start with the centre square, like this. And these ones are going to go into the cor on the corners with the dark facing in. Okay? I can smell that from here. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Mm. Oh, you don't like it. No. It's a bit too girly for you, is it? It's going to make me sneeze. <laughs> well, it's not making me sneeze. If it doesn't make me sneeze, that's a miracle. Because mm. everything makes me sneeze. So, in the corners like that. So it looks a bit like a churn dash at the moment, doesn't it? And we're going to then put these ones, the other background square, uh, pieces, in like that, okay? So, we're going to sew in rows, all right? And then we'll put the, the outside borders on. So that one's going to go onto there, and that one's going to go onto there, that one onto there, that one onto that side, and then those two onto there, okay? So I'm going to take those over. Now, uh, Oh, it's nice to know that some, like, somebody's had it. Wendy, if you've had it, that's nice to know that uh, you've had it and it's uh, worked for you. Good. Let's make sure I put that up right. Marion says, our granddaughter's called Drew. It's a very good name. <laughs> it is. It is. He, was a he is actually an Andrew, but uh, he's always been Drew right from the start. Because uh, I wanted to call him just Drew, you know, with no and bit on the front. Um... But my husband, ex-husband, first husband, said, um, oh, it was too American. And I was like, well, no, it's actually a really traditional Scottish name, which I've got really strong Scottish ancestry. Um, so uh, I wanted that. So we compromised with Andrew. and uh, But all my family and everybody's only ever called him Drew. Drew or Grubers. Mm -hmm. Drew or Grubers. Groobs. Which is my, daddy, my, my daddy's fault, bless him. <laughs> told you that story before so you've got one like that okay and you're going to iron them in opposite directions and we'll whip through this oh, it looks like it's going to feels like it's going to rain it's it suddenly something. gone really dark yeah you've got to go out I on your bike it. haven't you <laughs> I, I was say i've got to go with josh I'm just get the train, I think. are you going with josh on the train josh has got to come as well ah fair enough okay and that one either side of there that's a nice easy little seam down the centre. There we go. So that's the 
the centerpiece. I'm going to iron them opposite and then nest it all up. And then oh, here's the last one here. So as always with these, you know, you make sure you iron your seams opposite directions so the points go together nicely. And then that one on that side. Because I couldn't sleep last night, I did a load of work. Got lots and lots done. And uh, I was watching some really dodgy old films, like from the 80s. I watched Daylight with Sylvester Stallone in it when he's trapped in a tunnel under under Manhattan. Um, they had to get out so bad, it was so ridiculous. I'm like, oh my God, we used to really love these, these uh, films when we were like, younger. <laughs> the special effects were horrendous. So I watched that. What else did I watch? All sorts of watched The Night's Tale like. the other day. Which oh, I watched The Night's Tale. I love that film with Heath Ledger in it. I love it. Okay, so these ones, sorry, I should, I'm ironing into the rectangle like that. Okay, so I've ironed them going inwards. I'm going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to set the seam. And, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it that way. Set the seam and roll it inwards go and again with this one. Oh, i know what i've got to talk to you about as well um our weekly challenge our walking challenge we are in exeter we <laughs> we virtually walked from land's end to exeter which uh is very exciting um yeah it's um it's going really well thank you so much for all your donations uh going really really well so uh so yeah so if we were in exeter you could go and see the exeter sewing center who are, um, Sarah's bought a couple of machines from them actually, and we bought, we've bought a machine from them. They're fab, we see them a lot at the shows and things. You could, what else happens around Exeter Way? Um, there's um, the Exeter Show. We do quite a few shows at the West Point Arena, which is in Exeter. So my friend Katie lives down that way as well. All sorts going on. But thank you so much for your donations. Sean did put a post up showing where we are. Um, if you haven't donated yet and you would like to, that would we would be very grateful. Um, but it's going okay so far. This week has been better for me. I had a bit of a bad week last week. I really struggled to get my steps in, but I did make a real massive effort on Saturday. Uh, we went out, I went out twice walking actually. One massive walk with my husband during the day, which was good. And then I was, uh, I was like, actually, I did a quick, another half an hour as well, out and about. So I had a good day on Saturday. So, uh, but it's really making you think about how much you have to move. It's, it is a challenge. It's, you know, I say Jen's loving it, isn't she? Yeah, Jen's loving it. The dog's loving it. She's going out all the time. <laughs> so yeah, she's uh, she's getting more walks than I think she's ever had. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just putting the uh, the top and bottom on now. Um, what else have we got to tell you? But yeah, so so yeah, Charm Blesser did a ridiculous amount of steps yesterday. She's back in work in Margate, and they had a photo shoot in the in the grounds and uh yeah she did a ridiculous amount of steps and i think she's got another photo shoot today so yeah she's a i mean she's a big walker anyway but <laughs> she's having to walk a lot a lot extra this week because uh so i think we're going to be banking a few of those steps we're going to get there quicker with the amount she's having to walk this week uh, caroline says my machine's from there. My sister lives in that area. Oh, lovely. Um, nice shop and owners. Haven't been there in years. Yeah, they're really nice people. We see them quite a lot at the shows down that way. And uh, they're always really helpful and really informative and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, if you're in the Exeter area, Exeter Sewing Centre, definitely worth going and visiting. Um, and then um, we do two shows. We do, like, a show with Grosvenor um, down in Exeter, which is normally around the October, uh, April time. And then we do another one with um, uh, Craft for Crafters, um, which is February time. And then we also do one in September in Exeter as well, which is with ICHF, all different companies that run the same, run shows, but they all use the West Point Arena. It's a really nice, really nice one to visit actually. We, we like that one. It's easy for loading and unloading with our, that one. So there we go, guys. That's your centre all put together. Okay. Now we're going to use the short ones. Okay. And you're going to put them top and bottom like that. Okay. And can you see how, how they're going to come together? So you're going to have a little point like that. That's why we did them in opposite directions and opposite directions. 
okay so we're going to stitch these two together first all right and we're going to do the same with these i might as well do it all in one go on the on the machine okay so we're going to stitch those ones together as well because they will then go down and then i can show you how they how they fit on okay so we're going to put those ones together like that and those ones together okay i still haven't got a rolly chair it's a bit late now after 100 episodes isn't it there we go so put this one under just slow it down just a weeny bit on this because you don't want to you've got a lot of lot of bulk with the all those seams okay and then again with this one i would also start from the top not from this piece because you've got a lot of bulk there if, we, if you if you put start sewing it the where it's there's no bulk here and work into that um, you will find it. Is that the hand cream making me sneeze? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's not making me sneeze. You know how allergic I am to everything. And it's really not. Um, that's really nice, actually. I like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stitch down like that and through to that piece there because it gives the, ch the machine chance to get up to speed and you're less likely to get that horrible chewing up thing that sometimes happens when you're hitting lots of, um, lots of seams. go I'm gonna put these ones together as well and then we can put it all together so uh, what time is it oh we're okay we're ne nearly coming to time as well actually because uh, we've got lots to do in the shop today lots and lots we've got to get stuff off to her chamber all sorts of things there we go okay. and Oh, I've just remembered something as well that I haven't, I haven't um, sent in, which I must send in. Ooh, oops. I need, to, I need to get into the stairs after this, groups. <laughs> okay. There we go. Right. So, I'm just going to snip all those apart. Like that. And carefully gently just iron that out you could iron it open if you really wanted to but i don't think there's any need for it just give it a good press so that it's nice and flat like that so that one's going to go up there where's the other small one there it is so, there we go very nice where did you get your thumb uh storage pot uh in the shop in the shop, we had them for, sh uh, thimble, for yeah, the thimble. Uh, we had them for sale at Christmas. Um, we might have some left. I can't remember. I can't remember if we've got any left. I will check. But um, yes, we had them in the cop rose gold sort of coppery colour, and we had them in um, like a t you know that titanium rainbow thing that you see. We had one of those as well. But I'll check to see if we've got any left for you. There we go right so we're gonna i'm gonna just put the short ones on because I'm, I'm running out of time okay so this is now gonna fit like this okay it looks at the moment like this isn't gonna fit but because of your quarter an inch it should be fine so we're gonna put that one on like that okay like that and i'm gonna pop a pin just to stop it moving too much which i don't normally do as you know but i want that to stay nice and center and then this one is going to go on this side like that. And that's looking pretty like it's centralised, which is good. And we'll pop a pin in there as well. And we're going to stitch down those two very quickly. I'm very aware that um, of the time. So Sarah's going to be back tomorrow with our 100th live and um, she's going to be taking you through how to clean out your sewing machine things like how to clean out your sewing machine i think she's going to show you how to change your rotary blade as well because we get a lot of people struggle with that um so i think she's going to take you through some of the basics and like i said we will come up with some sort of giveaway or something as well okay um or competition or something for our 100th episode um keep calling them episodes they're not really episodes are they it feels like i'm in an episode of Grey's anatomy or something if i say episode. <laughs> yeah, 45 minutes long roughly 
Pardon? So they are roughly about 40 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it's, like, it's about the start. Yeah, well, maybe it is an episode. <laughs> um, and then Friday, I'm going to be back um, and going to be doing colour theory with you. Okay, so I'm going to bring lots of fabrics over and we're going to look at how the colour wheel works, how you, what, how you look at colour when you're putting quilts together, all that sort of thing. Okay, um, and uh, how things can go wrong with colour as well when things don't work. Okay, so I'm just going to push this one out. I'm not going to sew the other ones on now, ladies, because I'm just I'm very, very aware. But if you can see, I don't know if you can see here. So because of how it's been designed, it will then join up those points, okay, by keeping that one central. So it looks like this is carried on over that one. So if I lie that one out like that, because that one will then go on the sides, and bring this one over. Drew, if I can go, actually, if I bring it down towards me a weeny bit, put this one down. So imagine that those sides are on. You can see when you start putting them together, if you made lots of these, you end up with these lovely secondary diamonds that start to happen you imagine you had four or five or whatever together and it hopefully looks like this one is kind of slightly what's the word raised almost like this one is sitting above this one because these ones here so if you if you were careful and like worked it out you could have these as one color and then your others as different colors so it would look like these were sat on top of different ones i don't know if you can see that whether that's working on on camera um but you do get these really lovely, slightly 3D effect to them when they all go together. So, so that, that's it. Any comments, any questions? Anybody there, uh, darling? Sandra asked, uh, taking, uh, talking of rotary cutters, are there measurements on the blade? Why, why are there measurements on the blade? I don't know. There are, aren't there? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I've never used them. I've never even had attempted to use the measurements on a blade um i don't know it's pro there's probably a reason for that but it's not an inch is it it's definitely not an inch and you wouldn't oh can you imagine trying to keep an eye on those numbers i don't know lovely i will google it and see if i can find out for you uh everyone just says a uh, nice blog cool lovely lovely patterns on the web will be on the website in about an hour's time i'm going to go straight to the shop and pop, pop it on the website so um two pounds same as all the others um and uh yeah happy sewing guys and yet nothing nothing else there no other questions or anything no questions everyone says looks good cool yeah. lovely lovely right um i won't see you tomorrow see you sarah tomorrow for uh, our 100th episode uh and then i'll be back on friday so yeah uh, happy sewing everybody stay safe and we will see you all soon bye